now the latest on June 18th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. We're back again. X Vayu is moving into India today, and Invest 94W is currently located in the Philippine Sea, not too far from Palau. Those are the only two systems that are active at this moment in time, and no fully fledged storm anymore. It's day 18 of hurricane season in the Atlantic Basin. No systems are active whatsoever. The next name is Barry. The Eastern Pacific is still continuing its agonizing wait for its first name storm, Alvin. It's day 35 over there. And in the Western Pacific, there's 94W with a 30% chance now in the next five days, according to us, and remnants of Cyclone Vayu. In the Southern Hemisphere, nothing going on still at this time. Uh, although there was an inkling that something could have been developing near the Solon Islands, looks like that might not happen now. Here's a look at X Cyclone Vayu, 30 miles an hour, 1006 millibars, 73 miles from Burj in India, 23.1 north, 66.5 east, a straightforward projection into India and then off towards the east generally towards the central part of the country, but really hardly anything left of this system now at all. Uh, this is some wind shear graphics then, the Atlantic looking like this, still a sea of red there. The Eastern Pacific is pretty much shrouded in the same thing. Red zones are high wind shear areas and not conducive for storm development. You can see some green areas there in the Philippine Sea, not far from that invest which will give it a chance of development. The Indian Ocean is also totally unfavorable pretty much, apart from where the remnants of Vayu are. So here's a look at the North Atlantic today. Um, you can see the main feature really is some uh, convective activity occurring in the western part of the Atlantic towards the uh, Eastern Caribbean um, over some of those islands. Uh, interesting little trail of activity there, but nothing that's likely to develop into a tropical cyclone. A little wave obviously moving off the coast of Africa there as well. Gulf of Mexico has one or two little flare-ups there too. The Eastern Pacific looks like this. Again, you can see just a little bit of um, punctuations in the atmosphere there. A few thunderstorms in the open ocean, but very little to speak of still, really. Central Pacific there, um, not too much to speak of either. The Western Pacific, obviously a bit more interesting now. You may just about see the invest there very much near the bottom of the picture, not too far from Palau. Um, and you can't see all of it on that image. We will get a better view for you shortly, but elsewhere it's pretty quiet. In the Australia and South Pacific region, ironically gives you a better view of that invest at the near the very top of the image there. You can see how it's been developing in the water vapor imagery. Um, and in the Indian Ocean, you can just about make out the circulation of cyclone value moving inland very close to the India-Pakistan border um, and a little uh, flare-up or two off the coast of Burma as well. Sea surface temperatures are very warm in the east and east pacific still 30 degrees plus just waiting for that first cyclone to form. The Atlantic off the coast of Cuba, the Bahamas and southwestern Florida. Uh, sea surface temperatures 30 degrees plus here as well. Caribbean is warming up slowly but surely. The um, North Indian Ocean, you can still see one or two little cold trails there from Cyclone Value. Uh, the Bay of Bengal is the warmer of the two sub-basins, 30 degrees plus there. Same two in the Philippine Sea ahead of Invest 94W. Sea surface temperatures are never going to be an issue for that cyclone until it gets much further north than Taiwan. Here is a closer look at Invest 94 right now. You can see it's, uh, you know, it's there, it's existing, uh, but really not getting much about itself at the minute. Um, and a few flare-ups towards the northern side of what would be the system's centre, but it doesn't really have one yet. We'll be continuing to watch this. It's likely to become a weak system in the Philippine Sea, according to computer models. Here is uh, a look at the naming lists that are yet to come for this season. Barry, the next name in the Atlantic, Alvin in the Eastern Pacific, and Arconi in the Central Pacific. Sepat is next up in the Western Pacific, and in the Northern Indian Ocean, it's Hika. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, search Force 13, subscribe if you haven't already. And you can also find our social platforms on Facebook and Twitter. Search Force 13, all in text, and at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us or ask any questions. We'll be back again tomorrow with another tropical weather bulletin. 
uh, obviously, we'll see you then. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's Fool13 at extension 9094 and Force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for Tropical Weather Chat in our description.